హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఎమ్ గణేష్ కిషన్ వరాడే ఫౌండర్ అండ్ సిఇ ఆఫ్ థింకేటివ్ టెక్నాలజీ ప్రైవేట్ లిమిటెడ్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఈహెచ్ఆర్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ఛాలెంజెస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ సొల్యూషన్ దిస్ విల్ విల్ బి ద నెక్స్ట్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది లాస్ట్ వీడియో దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ అబౌట్ హెల్త్ కేర్ ఇంటర్ ఆపరబిలిటీ ఛాలెంజెస్ అండ్ ఇన్ ఇట్స్ సొల్యూషన్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావెన్ సీన్ దట్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు పుట్ దట్ లింక్ ఇన్ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ప్లీజ్ హ్యావ్ అ లుక్ అండ్ సీ దట్ వీడియో బిఫోర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ దిస్ వీడియో uh so in today's video we are going to discuss about four point the first point is the why ehr integration is required in second point is like how to do the ehr integration and its process and the third point we are going to discuss about ehr integration challenges and the fourth point is how thinkative is going to solve the ehr integration problem and what solution we offer let's jump to the first point why ehr integration is required all this hospital has their own ehr system as a backbone of their data like epic cerner or athena any of ehr they are using all of their data is logged into the ehr like their patient demographic vital data patient documentation clinical and financial data of all this patient and whenever this hospital needs to use any value add software like remote patient monitoring chronic care management software or any other value add software they need to manually fill the data into this software so they need to get manual data from this ehr and fill in manually this data into value add software in order to get the better value of this software but the problem is like doing this manually restrict the usage of this software and doesn't give the holistic data of patient so that's why the integration between this value add software and ehr is must for each of hospital and that's why it's required to do the end to end integration or two way integration between this ehr likewise like if any insight or insightful data is generated by the value add software that need to push back to the ehr so that e- integration is also required and this ehr integration provides the collaboration between the provider and the hospitals where they can share the record and patient data between each other let's start with the second point how to do ehr integration so if you want to integrate with any of ehr there is a standard process that we need to do the first thing is that we need to create the developer account on ehr integration marketplace in order to do that there is a standard practice where you can go in fill in your developer details and you will create your developer app and you will get your developer keys there will be secret keys and api keys you will get with this api keys you will start with the the second thing you need to do is that the you need to understand their api there will be api manual or swagger api standard um, api um document will be provided by ehr integration provider and you can go through each of those api understand those api once you have the clear understanding of those api you can understand the workflows how ehr works all this understanding you need to do third thing you need to do is like the based on your existing healthcare software like it can be a telemedicine it can be rpm it can be ccm so you will have your standard workflows user stories so those workflows you need to match with the ehr workflows those thing you need to do apart from that you need to understand the their ehr data model like how the patient field has been mapped there can be ehr which support the fire standard so fire is a pretty standard practice you can map your a your data model. and based on that once you got the understanding of ehr data model you will have your own data model you need to figure out or change or update your own data model according to map it one by one field once you done the mapping i will recommend you to do the excel sheet and do the mapping of all this ehr once that is done you can start with the implementation you will need to integrate with the those apis and which one by one based on your requirement like pulling patient data pulling uh, insurance data pulling the appointment or pulling the uh, clinical information or financial information you can do by integrating with these all those apis once that is done then after that the 
EHR provides the sandbox environment and you need to you need to get the access of sandbox environment by your, there is a legal process each EHR supports is basically you need to fill out your user stories and why you want to integrate so they need to understand is that the whether your use case is valid or your you also need to specify the scope as well so they need to understand whether like you are accessing the whatever data is required for your scope or you are accessing the extra data so once that is done you you need to fill out the document you need to submit that document to the ehr uh, marketplace once that is done they will provide you sandbox environment access where you'll be able to see the demo ui of the ehr and you can start pulling and pushing data out of this ehr and based on that you'll be able to see the all data in sandbox privy environment and then once you are ready with all the integration and your use case is fulfilled you will apply for the verification process in the verification process there will be one of a coordinator from the ehr integration um, or ehr integration team will coordinate with you guys and they will have the call on zoom or any kind of like convenient google meeting they can take a call with you they will ask you to call each of api that you have implemented as per your use case and they will verify whether data is going back and forth smoothly and if there is any issue they will tell you this is the issue you can go back and fix it and once validation process is done you will get the production keys and your app will be on production you need to use your production keys into app and once you put in production keys and you can start onboarding your client so this is what the process of ehr integration good luck for it and if you have any question you can reach uh, you reach back to us and we will happy to help you let's jump to the third point that is ehr integration challenges there are multiple challenges in doing ehr integration first thing that ehr integration expertise second thing is that the ehr integration security compliance understanding though and regulation understanding third thing is that the time taken to do the ehr integration and fourth thing is the cost of ehr integration the first thing is that the EHR integration expertise. So what I mean by the EHR integration expertise, it is not only the technology expertise, you should have the domain understanding and healthcare understanding in order to do the perfect EHR integration. Suppose you want to push any data to the EHR, you need to have the detailed understanding of what provider is going to see and where it will be that data will be land what you are going to push and what data you should pull from EHR it involve like two domain intersect over here is that first thing is the technology and second thing is the detailed domain understanding and that is very rare skill to have both of these two understanding second point is security and regulatory compliance whenever you are going to do the ehr integration ultimately you are going to access the phi data and as per hipaa compliance phi data is very important data and you should securely access their data whenever you are going to access data Whenever it's in transit, you should do under SSL layer. Whenever you are storing PHI data, you need to encrypt that data. And you should give the access to the only people which will require those data in order to provide the clinical uh, care. So only provider should be able to access that data and you should maintain the audit log who has maintained the data. So whenever you do the EHR integration, you need to take care of security and regulation. Third thing we need to do is uh, understand when we do the EHR integration, time taken to do the EHR integration. So all this EHR have their own different data, different data format and understanding those API and doing end-to-end -end integration first time takes a lot of time. You need to understand those APIs, their data model and map it to the, your field. It takes a lot of time for your developer and it needs to involve the domain expert as well as technology expert in order to do that. And sometimes it will take months to do that and that is like your time to market will be delayed because of the EHR integration. So that time is the third factor and that is very important factor. And third thing, as we are going to increase the time, the cost of developer, cost of domain expert, all those resources will be utilized and your cost can be double, triple as compared to the other vendor which will provide the easy EHR integration. For example, us, Thinkitil does the EHR integration in four weeks 
but other vendor do does that EHR integration three to four months, and that accordingly exponential and as time increases, your cost of integration also increases, and accordingly you will also delay your time to market, and that opportunity cost is another factor you need to look at when you do the EHR integration. Let's start with the four point. How Thinkative helps in doing the EHR integration smoothly. So, as a Thinkative, we are a technology company. We provide the custom EHR integration bridge. Over the period of time, we understand that it's not EHR integration is not one fit for all. Everybody needs their own custom version. So, what we do is like we understand the requirement, we understand the workflows, and based on that we do the EHR integration. What we have is that the awesome tool that is EHR integration bridge. Here you can look at the EHR integration normal workflow diagram. In that like you can see on the left side we have integrated with different EHR like the Epic, Cerner, Athena. We have understanding of all those EHR where we integrated with all of this EHR and we can pull and push data from this EHR. So what we do is that we pull data from this EHR, we standardize, normalize that data and based on your use case or data model, we convert that data in your own data model and we expose you with the APIs. So you can integrate with those API and pull or push data. And these are the standard APIs as per your required format. And Today, you are integrated with just Epic and tomorrow you want to integrate with Cerner. You just, we will just enable on the left side, left hand side of things is that the connecting to one of the EHR like Cerner. But oh, there won't be any changes for you. That's the beauty of this bridge. All the pain of conversion of data will be handled internally by bridge. So in that way, we will provide you standard API set common for all those EHR with the need of the requirement you can integrate with any of those EHR. Apart from that, the, we have good expertise and knowledge of the domain expertise as well technology expertise. So where we will guide you end to end right from the creation of developer account to the validation and production phase. And second thing is that the we understand the security compliance and PHI data. During all this EHR data will be secure whatever data flowing through this EHR integration bridge and we don't store any PHI data we just do the conversion of that and whatever data flows between EHR integration bridge that will be under secure layer and we completely maintain the audit and error log where you will need you will get all the access of how what data we have pulled what data can be pushed and what more you will need time taken to do the EHR integration we normally take very less time that will be around like three weeks for initial EHR integration but once we get the good understanding of your data model we can do it in only two weeks apart from that in terms of costing if other vendors are charging you 50k for one EHR integration we charge less than one fifth of that and we can do it very fast speed so contact us for any of EHR integration we have domain expert and technology expert that those can help you do the EHR integration smoothly. Thank you.